Hello happy people, welcome back to Nail Therapy Thursdays. Today I wanna bring you all a tutorial. Um, this video is actually gonna be filmed in two parts. First I want to do an unboxing of these items with you all here on camera. And then once I take this set off of my fingers, then I will go ahead and demo this product. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and get it unboxed so I can pack it away with the rest of my nail supplies. Um, if you all wanna know about this look, I'll leave it linked down below. But without further ado, um, this is the Beatles uh, glue tips and glue, I'm sorry, nail tips and glue set. And this is what the box looks like. Really nice and really pretty. It says, be bold, be me, be Beatles. And I really like that on all Beatles products, they have this little saying that says, hey, they're gorgeous. I think it's a nice little detail um, that they do with a lot of their packaging and that I really enjoy. So when you open up the box here, you see that they have the application guide. And so that's just gonna tell you how to use the product. Um, it tells you to pretty much uh, prep your nails, uh, choose the proper size, and then apply glue on the nail tips, press nail tips, and then cure for 30 to 60 seconds. So that's pretty much what that says in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you all just a quick view of that. And then um, again, it comes with um, all, I think it comes with 500 tips. So it comes with 500 tips here. It comes with this cool nail glue. Um, the size of it is 7.5 ml. So that's what that looks like. Okay, and then it also comes with this amazing little lamp, which I am like super excited about. Like, look how cute this is. It has like the four LED lights. And so, yeah, I mean, it's really nice. I think this is supposed to be the dupe for Kiara Sky Jelly Tips and the A-Press. And then it comes with the power cord. So, yeah, once I, once like I said, I just wanted to go ahead and get everything unboxed for you all here on camera. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove these and come back with some nice clean nails. Okay, so I'm back and as you can see, I took off my last set and I have already gotten started on this beautiful set here. Um, today, I am going to show you all how I got this beautiful look. Um, this is uh, just some fall green nails with a beautiful butterfly design. As you all can see, oh, this butterfly design is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I'm so in love with this design. Like, yeah, I think I did a really good job. So, um, I am using the Beatles uh, tips and uh, glue kit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you all what you need to get started. You're going to need the uh, Beatles LED mini LED lamp that comes with the kit. Um, you'll need the Beatles nail glue. And you'll also need uh, the nail tips. So I have the nail tips here. I have already went through and sized out the ones that I need, but um, you can do that. Just want to make sure that they fit the nail bed properly. Um, and then you'll also need your colors of choice. I am using all Beatles brand stuff today. Um, so I have the Beatles gel polish. This is the green that's on the top of my nails. Oops, this is the green that's on the top of my nails. It is A86. And I am going to leave all these products linked down below. Um, you'll also need this gold color, which I didn't show you all. But um, let's see here if that'll focus. Yeah, it's 946. So as you can see underneath the tips, there is like that gold shift. So that's what that is. And then you'll also need the Beatles top coat. So that's everything that I'm using here today. Um, so the polishes we won't need right away. Really just need the nail glue. And then um, you'll also need like files and cuticle pushers and things like that to prep your nail. And also a buffer is going to be helpful too to take the shine away from the uh, false nail once it's on. And yeah, let me go ahead and get started. So I do actually have, um, I put some, what is it called, nail aid on these nails and I just had this on for um a few days actually just to give my nails some strength and kind of let them kind of heal a little bit well not even heal but just rest a bit uh after my last set and i want to show you all okay and i want to show you all what that looks like so it's the nail aid like so the nail aid and it's the keratin three-day growth um so i just started using this i'll keep you all updated on how it works 
But um, yeah, I applied two coats of this to my nails and that's what I'm rocking on here. So I am gonna go ahead and take this off and then prep my natural nail for application. I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll be back once they're filed, buffed, and ready to go. Okay, so my nails have been filed buff cuticles push back um i really was debating about whether or not i wanted to clip my nail off completely and honestly i think i want to keep the length of my nails i did that on this set so you actually can see my natural nail underneath um but i did keep my length because when i take these off i do want to be able to do a nice set of nails with my natural nails so i'm actually going to keep it like it is um, the other thing I actually also forgot to mention is these nail stickers. These I actually purchased from Shein. Um, you should see that in one of my most recent hauls. You should have seen these in one of my most recent hauls. And so I do use the items that I get and I'm super excited to put these to use because they look absolutely beautiful. If you all haven't started using Shein for your nail art, you are completely missing out. And then I also have some tweezers to kind of help me with that. So without further ado, let me go ahead and get started. So these are the tips that I picked out for myself. Um, they are all size to perfection for me. So um, the thumbnail I'm gonna do last, but I am gonna go ahead and etch it out. So. Um, when you are fitting the nail to your tip, to your actual fingernail, you want to make sure that it fits your nail fully. So you see how this fits my nail all the way to the edge and on the other side it fits my nail all the way to the edge. That's how you want to make sure the fit is. You don't want it to kind of spew over and you also want to make sure maybe you could tuck it a little bit. I'm not going to tuck it but when I get it really close to the cuticle and push it down. You know, that's how you're gonna know that it's gonna fit really well and that's how I got these to fit and look so nice and natural. So, um, what I will do on camera here is go ahead and etch the inside of this nail, of all of these nails, to get them ready for application. And um, since my nail is a little bit longer, I do have to etch out a little bit further. So I am gonna go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, so all the nails have been etched out. Um, again, I had to etch mine a little bit longer. I would say too, for this particular design, I would recommend actually clipping your nails down um, just so that the design underneath can show through. I mean, you can still see mine though, um, but you can see my natural nail as well. So that's just like an FYI, but like I said, I really don't wanna lose my length right now. So I'm gonna just go ahead and apply them as is. So the first thing that I am gonna do is just dehydrate my nails with a little bit of alcohol. So I'm just gonna spray my nails here. And then I'm gonna take a cotton pad, just wipe um, away all the extra dust here. Okay, so my nails are nice and dehydrated. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the nail glue directly to my nails. So this is the nail glue that came with the kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this directly to my nails and then cure that for 60 seconds. Okay, so that's been cured for 30 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the application of the first nail. So I'm gonna take the tip and I'm going to apply the glue to the inside of the nail, like so. And this, you guys, you actually have to work really quick. Like once you get the nail on properly, you kinda gotta flash cure like right away. Otherwise you risk it popping up and you having air bubbles. So I did get a few air bubbles on some of my other nails, but um, I just kept with the process and we'll just see how long they hold up. So you wanna put a generous amount of glue on the inside here. I normally just tap my light before I even um, put my nail on. So here you'll just wanna hold it really close to the cuticle, push everything out and just slide it right underneath here. And then you'll wanna hold it for about 10 to 20 seconds underneath here. You probably don't need to hold it that long, but that's what I do. And then after that, I just kind of let it sit under there for maybe like another 30 seconds. 
So like so, so you can see here, it's being cured. There are no air bubbles. It's a nice clean cure. The only thing is, is I put a little bit too much product on, so it spewed underneath the nail. But because it's clear, it's not really a big deal to me. So that nail is on, and I'm gonna go ahead and adhere the rest of them. And once I finish applying all the nails, I am gonna cure it in my big LED lamp for a full 60 seconds. Right now, I'm just kind of flash curing the nail just to get them all on. So, like so. And then again, I'm gonna tap it first. And then apply it where there's no air bubbles. And then cure. like so okay I'm gonna repeat this process until they're all on I am planning to do my thumbs off camera because yeah it'll just be awkward angles to try to get them done but um, yeah, let me go ahead and do the next nail here So you all have seen me try to do builder gel with um, applying press-on nails. And you all saw the struggle that I had trying to get my like hand underneath the lamp to cure it. This little egg lamp thingamajig that Beatles came out with is like absolutely amazing. Like when I say I really, really love um, how easy it is to just kind of slide my hand right in here underneath the lamp. Like, yeah, it's nice. And then honestly, if you wanted to, you can even fit like a few fingers under here, you see? Like, yeah, it's really, really helpful and really, really amazing. So, yeah, so that's how this one looks. Um, I did get a little bit of an air bubble right here on the side, but that's not anything I'm gonna be too worried about. If these end up popping off, that's fine, but I don't think they will, honestly. Um, I think I've gotten pretty good at applying it after my trial and error on my other hand. I'm kind of happy I was able to do my trial and error and figure it out for you all before I showed you here. But yeah, so that's this one. Tap the light. It's really, really easy. I can see this method being amazing for just when you wanna do some press on nails and um, you just wanna put something on really quick um, on the go type deal, especially if you have like a French type press on nail. Like this would have been really great when I was doing my French press on set to have this little lamp because my nails could have been done in like five minutes. Like you all see how quick this is. Like I might actually just play some music and run this particular part of the video in real time. That way you can see how quick and easy it is to apply all of these. So this is four nails applied in less than five minutes, right? Like that's, um, that's just unheard of and amazing. So I am gonna go ahead and cure this underneath my big LED lamp for 60 seconds. So now these nails have been fully cured for 60 seconds and look how amazing these are. So when I did this other hand, I actually had kept them this length at first, but honestly, after trying to just move around with them, I realized this length is actually just too long for me to function with. So I am gonna go ahead and clip these down and then buff them. I have a little nail clipper here and I'm gonna go through and just clip the nails. <laughs> So I went through and shaped and buffed all of my nails and I did go ahead and apply my thumbnail off camera. This nail was actually really, really difficult to apply. Um, I guess that the curve in this, this uh, false nail or this tip is really deep and so I had to apply a lot of extra gel 
um, just to get it to fill that area. And so I did get a lot of air bubbles on this particular one. And I had a lot of spewing out of the sides. So it's kind of interesting it spewed on the sides, but not down here. So yeah, I'm gonna show you all essentially how I prep these nails. I'm gonna go ahead and shape this one, file it and buff it here on camera with you all. So let's hop right on into this. So to get rid of that gel, I'm gonna use my e-file and I'm just gonna go around the edge just to get rid of that. Okay, so the nail is all buffed and shaped and ready to go, as are the rest of my nails. So I'm gonna show you all how I got this beautiful design here with the little peekaboo gold underneath. So first I'm gonna go in with my gold gel polish here and I'm just gonna paint that on all the nails and I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds. I'm gonna apply a pretty generous coat of this to all the nails because I really want it to show through underneath. So I want the coat to be kind of generous just so that you know you can kind of see it underneath, right? So I'm gonna go through and do that on all the nails. Technically, you really only need to do it on the tip because that's the part that you want to show through, but I just didn't want um, my gel polish application to be any lumpy. So that's why I'm applying it to the whole nail. And then also what I'm going to do is um, just clean up around the cuticle area. And what actually, what else I found helpful about this little mini lamp here is that, um, you know, before I put my hand in the lamp, I can really just flash cure it really quick here, like so. So I'm gonna flash cure it for like 10 seconds here. And that just stops the gel polish from moving around, you know? So it kind of makes my life a little bit easier. Um, so I don't have to worry about, um, you know, um, the gel polish running and stuff like that. And I'm not actually used to wearing like super long nails. And so even painting them, just making sure I get all the way down to the tip, um, that flash cure gives me a little bit of time to, um, yeah, make sure the nail is ready to go. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying this to all of the nails, flash curing in between, and then I'm gonna throw it in my big lamp for about 60 seconds. Okay, so now that all the nails are done, I'm gonna go ahead and cure this in my LED lamp, the big lamp, for about 60 seconds. All right, so now that it's done curing for 60 seconds, I am gonna go and paint over the entire nail. I wanna cover up the gold on top so that I'll only see it underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, three coats of this. Typically two coats gives me full coverage with beetles, but um, for this particular one, I need three just to make sure all the glitter polish is covered up properly. And on this one, I am gonna cap the free edge as well, um, just so you don't see the, the weird wonky plastic nail when I like turn my fingers to the side and such. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for a full 60 seconds in my big lamp. So now I'm gonna go in with my second coat here to build up the opacity. Okay, so this is the second coat of gel polish. I'm gonna go ahead and do a third and final coat before I apply my nail art.
Okay, so that's the final, third and final coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for a full 60 seconds. Okay, so I just cured the nails for 60 seconds. I did go ahead and do my thumbnails off camera to save a little bit of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my nail art. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe, wipe off that uh, tacky layer with um, a cotton ball and some alcohol. Take a little bit of alcohol here. And just get rid of that tacky layer here, like so. This feels different though. It like like it's not like super. Um, I don't know, the tacky layer is just kind of thick, I guess I'll say. So I'm just gonna wipe that off like so. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my um, beautiful little butterflies. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my butterflies. So I wanna apply them in a way such that when I fold my fingers like this, you all can see the butterfly. So essentially I need to have it where the butterfly is facing me. So these two stickers at the bottom are actually gonna be applied just as they are on the um, sticker. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my tweezers here. Okay. And I'm just gonna peel up one little corner of the butterfly. to do with nails on I'll tell you that the long nails let's do like this okay, there we go all right so I got the corner up I'm just gonna peel it off nice and slow So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this piece first. And like I said, I wanna apply it as if the butterfly is kind of facing me. So let's see here. Place it like right about here. Actually, I want it down a little bit lower. I think that's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and just press it down like so. So the first butterfly is on. The antenna for this beautiful little butterfly fell off, so I'm gonna go ahead and just still stick that on my nail. supposed to be like right here okay yeah, it's supposed to be up like kind of straight oh. let me just do this with my finger Okay, so like that. And then I'm gonna take the second sticker, do the same thing. There we go. And this sticker I'm gonna place like this. Looks good. Alrighty, look how cute that is. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply top coat to all of my nails, and then we'll be all done here. I'm gonna apply a little bit more of a generous layer of top coat to the nails with the butterflies so that, um, they are so that the sticker gets encapsulated like so. All right. 
Alrighty, so this is the finished product. Look how beautiful this is. I absolutely love this little butterfly design here um, on these beautiful green nail. When you hold your hand, when I hold my hand this way, you can see the beautiful little butterfly design. Yeah, really, really beautiful. So yeah, my nails are all done. Only thing left to do is to oil my cuticles. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. So yeah, I am absolutely in love with this design. Um, definitely let me know what you all think about this design in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursdays. So if you like what you saw here, um, definitely come back next Thursday so for some more nail art um, and some more nail fun. Yeah, um, as always, you all leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye. Okay, happy people. So I wanted to give an update on this nail design really quick. Um, this is what the nails are looking like after 10 days of wear. I must say I am very, very impressed with this Beatles kit. Um, for my nails to have lasted over 10 days and not have any issues out of it, I mean, yeah, this is a winner for me. Um, as you can see, there's like no lifting at all on any of the nails. Like I haven't had any issues. There was only lifting on this nail right here, if you can see, and that's because I know that there was an air bubble near my cuticle, and so that's why that's lifting, right? But no lifting on any of the other nails. So I love this kit so much. I definitely highly recommend it. It is well worth the 20 bucks that you spend on it. Um, honestly, it's probably worth a little bit more than that. But yeah, if you all are thinking about getting that Beatles kit, I say go for it because uh, you won't regret it. Like, I... <laughs> been enjoying this nails I've been enjoying these nails and have been getting tons of compliments on it so yeah you definitely won't regret it I am going to leave it linked in um, the description box so if you want to purchase your own um, you can